came up with a list of 10 ways to make you happy and just 10 things that make me personally happy so maybe it will inspire you guys so uh, let's just get started. Number one is making coffee. I love the process of making coffee. Ever since I got my Nespresso machine for Christmas, I'm just the happiest girl. I love making the espresso and then putting it in a cup and either if I'm making an iced latte or a hot latte, making the frothy milk. Like, just the process of it is so satisfying to me and I just feel like a little barista and it's just something that boosts my mood in the morning or after school when I get home. Like, just something that kind of picks me up. Yes, the caffeine does get me going, but also just, the idea of making the coffee is really nice. Number two is wearing pajamas that actually match. It's the craziest of things, I know, but when I wear a matching pajama set, I feel so put together. I feel like life is good. I feel like I'm in this nice hotel. I just feel, I feel good. Like if I'm wearing a matching pajama set, you know I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Number three is watching the sunset. And I know not everyone can watch the sunset from where they live. I'm so blessed to live on the water and get to watch the sunset every night. Um, but it's something that makes me really happy. Even if you can't watch the sunset, the golden hour is an amazing time. You know, right before sunset, that like golden glow outside just, it really like, I don't know, it like fuels my soul in a way and I love it a lot. And it's just something that relaxes me. I go and sit out on my dock and it just makes me feel good. Number four is taking pictures. I've been really into photography lately. I've been doing a lot of photo shoots with photographers because obviously I like to have a pop on Instagram, but I also am really interested to learn from them and what cameras they use and how they like to take their pictures. It's really fun for me. And I just got this new baby. It's the Sony a6500 and man oh man, it takes amazing pictures. I love, I'll go out and like take pictures of my friends or have my parents or have someone take a picture of my outfit and it's just like, I don't know, I'm really into taking pictures right now and it, it fuels my soul as well. Number five is something so simple but it can really put you in a very calm and happy mood is lighting a candle at night or in the morning. Just the act of lighting a candle is so satisfying. Like I just lit this one right before the video and man, I just felt so darn good. Let me tell you, it's just like, the start of your serenity for the night. Number six is kind of weird, but it makes me so happy and I know some of you guys do it too. There will be nights or days or whatever when I'm really bored and I'm listening to music and I'm jamming out and so I just go in my closet and I start to put together outfits that I think would look good and put together outfits that I've never put together before, like pairing things with things I haven't worn before and it's so much fun and then I take pictures of those outfits so I remember them for the future when I'm like, I don't know what to wear. Oh, I put together this outfit one night and it looked really good so maybe I'll wear that today. It's really fun and it kind of makes you satisfied with your own closet because sometimes like even myself, like I'll be like, oh, I have nothing to wear and that is such a lie. What I do is sometimes I'll grab one piece, so I'll grab a shirt and I'm like, okay, let's pair this with something. And then the options are actually endless. Like you might think you have nothing to wear, but if you just experiment and try to put different things together that you don't wouldn't normally do, it is so fun and it makes me so happy. Number seven is FaceTime or call a friend. Sometimes when I'm driving home from school, I'm like really bored because I'm in traffic and I'll like call my friend Caitlin and it's so fun. We just like laugh for hours or like whoever it is, I'll call someone. For one thing, it just feels good to talk to someone and it's just like, I don't know, it's good to like talk to other people that rather than just thinking and having all these thoughts in your head if you're in a bad mood, it like kind of turns your mood around. And if you are in a good mood, I love just getting on the phone with a friend and just like walking around my house like talking on the phone. When I talk on the phone, I notice I like can't sit in one place. I have to be like walking or like doing something. I'm crazy. Number eight, this is something that makes me happy and it might not make others happy, but hey, give it a shot. I love sitting down to create goals, to make lists. I mean, I have sticky notes all over my desk. I have lists all over like on my planner. It's full of lists. That's something that makes me happy. I feel productive. I feel good. Or just to sit down and create goals, not like goals for 2017. like. We're over that. More so goals like for this week, like I want to book this appointment. I want to email this person. I want to go to the movies with my friends. Like whatever it is, like just sitting down to write those things down, I don't know. Really satisfying for me. It makes me in a really, really good mood. Like I just did that. That's why I'm like in a really good mood right now. <laughs> Number nine is probably the easiest way to make someone happy, at least for me. I'll get in my car, put on some jams, and just drive aimlessly. Like drive somewhere where I know like drive down a nice road or a scenic route that makes me happy and just listen to music that makes you so happy and put the windows down, jam out, it's a good time. Lastly is, this is good if you're just feeling lazy but you wanna get your mood up. Go watch one of your favorite childhood movies or one of your favorite movies. 
that never lets you down. Just snuggle up, put your PJs on, grab your dog, grab your cat, or whatever you like to snuggle with, and watch a movie that you love. Like, sometimes I'm just in the mood to watch High School Musical and have some comfort, eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich and watch my High School Musical, bring me back to my childhood days. Like, whatever it is, something that can kind of bring you back to when you were a child and you were just careless and, you know, everything was good, everything was happy, like there was no worries. It kind of feels good to transport yourself back there, so try it. Okay, so the five actions you can take to have a happier life, they have to be applied every single day. Actually, not applied, but at least try to do some of them every day, because I guarantee you're gonna feel happier. So the action number one is actually being open to receive new things. You know, being open to get new things in your life. So change something on your routine. You know, if you do, if you go every day uh, to work from this street, take a different street the next time. You know, see different things happening around you. And that is gonna uplift your energy, that is gonna make you happier. It's not gonna be always the same thing all the time. So change something on your routine, change something to a new thing. You know, even if you uh, uh, always buy, for example, the same uh, soap to shower, go to a different shop, buy a different fragrance, you know, just change little things in your day that is gonna uplift your energy and make you feel happier, okay? Action number two is health change, it's diet change. So by changing uh, your diet, opting for something healthier is gonna uplift your energy. It's gonna make you feel more connected and automatically you're gonna feel happier. So instead, instead of eating, for example, pizza three times a day, three times a week, eat pizza only once, opt for something else, opt for something healthier. You know, instead of having a heavy breakfast, get some fruit, get some yogurt, something lighter, that it's still gonna make you feel full, but it's gonna make your energy higher, it's gonna make your energy uplifted, and you're gonna feel happier also. So try to change, try to opt for the healthier option that you can take during your day, during your meals. Instead of having heavier, uh, heavier meals, try something a little bit healthier. You know, even if it's, let's say, uh, one meal a day, okay? You're used to have fast food, for example. So, and let's say you don't have time to cook, you don't have time to have something healthier. But even if you go to the fast food restaurant, uh, try to get something lighter there. Try to find the salad with the chicken breast, or try to get uh, something with more vegetables. You know, just um, change, change your uh, your diet, change your meals, change your health style uh, to a more healthier way of life. You know, do some more exercise. You know, instead of uh, if your work is close to you, instead of going with your car, try to walk at least once a week. Okay, go walking. You know, take some fresh air. Change your routine, like I told you. Change something in your routine, on your um, health that is going to uplift your body, is going to uplift your energy and make you feel happier. The action number three is getting some more rest. I know we all have a busy life, we all have a busy day, we have a lot of things to do every day and I know it and I understand. But try to take a few minutes a day just to rest a little bit. It doesn't mean sleeping, but just, you know, sit down for a while or lay down if you can. But for five, ten minutes just to breathe, just to reconnect, just to rest your mind, rest your body. You know, give yourself a little bit more time to take care of yourself a little bit better, you know. We all need to stop a little bit. We all need to get rest, to recharge, to reconnect. Connect. Otherwise, everything starts to build up and we go just really to a very stressful life, unhappy life. So try to get some extra uh, rest, like I told you, you know. If you manage to go to bed earlier, go to bed a little bit earlier. Even if you don't fall asleep so quickly, at least you're resting a little bit more. Your body is relaxing uh, a little bit longer. So take some extra care of yourself. 
Question number four is volunteering. I'm not only talking about volunteering in big institutions or these kind of things, of course that's always good, but I'm, uh, I'm also talking about small actions you can take to help others, to be there for other people. You know, let's say you're walking and, and by someone and you see this person is struggling, they just went to grocery shop, they have a lot of bags and they're struggling with it. Offer help, you know, that's not gonna kill you, that's not gonna kill the other person. You know, and I guarantee you're gonna feel really happy, you're gonna feel really good about yourself, and the other person is gonna be very grateful also. So, you know, whenever you have a chance to help someone, to be there for someone, do it, you know. It, 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 does, it, it takes you, you know, five minutes of your day, or sometimes not even that. And that's gonna make you so good about yourself. You're gonna go home so fulfilled with yourself. Your spirit is gonna be so happy, you know. So try to do some small things to help others, okay? If you see someone uh, that needs, let's say, he's lost, he's trying to find something on the street, stop by, ask them if they need help and give them the direction. It's like I told you, it's gonna take you one minute of your day. And that's nothing, you know? And that is gonna make you feel so happier, so much happier, you know? It's gonna make you feel just connected to yourself and you're gonna feel so good. So don't, don't waste opportunities to help others. Don't waste opportunities to be good to other people, you know? Don't go home feeling like, oh, I should have done that. You know, do it instead of uh, putting yourself in the situation of regretting later for not helping someone, help it, you know, take this step forward, take this courage to be the better person, to be, you know, uh, helpful to someone that needs help, okay? So that's gonna make you really happy, I guarantee. And the action number five is hobbies, you know, start implementing uh, hobbies to your life, things that you really enjoy doing, that you enjoy yourself. You know, uh, think about things that you used to like when you were younger, you know, playing some instruments or if you always wanted to learn to play an instrument, you know, start doing that now. Don't leave it for tomorrow. Do it now. Even if you don't have money to pay for a class, you know, on YouTube, there's so many videos of this kind of things. Search on YouTube, start taking action on things that are going to be good for you. You know, implement your hobbies on your day. Uh, if you like cooking, cook more. Try to, you know, give some time to this thing that you like doing. If you like uh, painting, if you like dancing, you know, take five minutes of your day to do it. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be one whole, one whole hour. It doesn't need to be one, you know, a, a, a big amount of time. Five minutes, five minutes is going to make you much more happier, you know. Uh, go to the shower, take a longer shower, you know, just relax. This is gonna make you happier, I guarantee, okay? So try to uh, bring back to your life things that you really enjoy doing, things that you really like since younger, since you were a child. So try to uplift your spirits, try to uplift your energy by doing this kind of things and you will feel much more connected, much more happier and great about yourself.